All right, here we go. 74 kilograms. Joe Seeley in the red. That's not Keegan O'Toole, though he's wearing a singlet. That's Jared Jacuse. Keegan's longtime teammate in Mizzou. Seeley's been impressive. Looked great at Ironman, now he's looked great here. He had a dominant victory previous round. Now we're gonna go passivity against JQs. And there's a shot from JQs, but Good down block by, by Joe Seeley. Passivity warning coming against Jared Jacuse. Shot from Jake Hughes, but good job defending from Joe Seeley. Seeley holding great position. And the shot clock point goes up for Seeley. Seeley leads 1-0. And they're gonna warn Seeley for passivity. Seeley changing levels a lot, trying to get to the leg. Not there though. Shake Hughes always been really tough positionally. Seeley circling to that left and then dropping, hoping the foot's going to be there, but it hasn't been yet. The physicality of Seeley's what's been really impressive. You know, you think a high schooler get beat up by a guy. I mean, Jacobs is a postgraduate, multiple year starter for Missouri, national qualifier. And, you know, he's it's, it's Seeley that's controlling center, dictating. Well, that's just one period. We're three minutes away here. Second period now. And Jake Hughes finds his way into the leg. Great head position on this leg attack. Now standing single. And it looks like Jake Hughes really working for that one, and he's going to get it. Well defended by Seeley to not give up that takedown. As you could tell, Jake Hughes made the decision early in that leg attack. I'm going to drive for this step out point. And he gets it, taking the lead 1 1 by criteria. And another attack from Seeley, but good hips there from Jake Hughes. He's got that chest wrap. Oh, peek out by Seeley, but good job squaring up by Jake Hughes. O'Toole, or excuse me, O'Toole. I'm reading the singlet. I'm going to blame Keegan for that. Seeley going on the clock. New York Athletic Club. 
And Jake Hughes drops, and we got one confirmed. Jake Hughes trying to gimmick the grounded rule, but the Matt official and chairman say, no, that's one. So Seeley back in the lead, and huge benefit there because he's on the clock, but now it's a high crotch for Jake Hughes. He doubles off, and there's going to be a takedown, 3-2 the lead for Jared Jake Hughes. 90 to go. Activity picking up this second period. I'm loving it. And Jake Hughes really two for two on his leg attacks. And there's a single leg shallow from Seeley. Now chest wrap position here for Jarrett Jake Hughes. And they'll go back up. Stalemated 111 to go. Pulls and picks attempt there from Seeley. We've seen a lot of that one way, then the other. He'll change his collars. Now, great reattack by Jake Hughes, but a great job coming up to his feet. That takedown looked imminent. And good athleticism from Seeley to come up to his feet. A takedown would put Seeley in the lead. By criteria. So a two pointer would give him the advantage. 40 to go. He's been hand fighting a lot, pulling. Oh, drops in, tries to throw that by. Jake Hughes holding great position. Seventeen to go. Duck under attempt there from Seeley. He's throwing a lot at him. Nothing there. Duck attempt again. Six seconds to go. Seeley needs to clear out of that. Three seconds, and it looks like Jared Jacu's gonna hang on to the four-two win. He drops to the mat. He had to go hard for six minutes to get that win, but he did it. Good win for Jacu's. Taking out the young up-and-comer, Joe Seeley.